Oh boy. So, if you're one of those people who snap an axle, um, there's always a point of failure. And on this particular axle, right here in the hub. But axles typically don't just fail by themselves. It's either by abuse or lack of maintenance. But if you're one of those people who does put a fair amount of love and care into their vehicle, be it maintenance, inspections, and just doing, well, regular cleanings, to have an axle snap on you going 60 kilometers down the highway, hmm, not even the highway, the road, is a rather jarring experience. So what exactly are we looking at here? This is your axle hub. Um, the drum goes onto here. There's your axle shaft nut, and the axle's in there. And from what I can tell on this here, so it's almost a clean shear here. These splines have completely worn down. And on the inside of here, if we can see it, these splines have also rounded out. And there's a keyway in there, which, by God, if I can't tell, it's so trashed. Um, this thing must have been hanging by the keyway for quite a while. Now, to get that last two inches of axle shaft out of the broken hub, you I, I don't have a bearing press, so the only way to get it out was just to put it into a vise and beat that thing silly with a hammer. But then you ask yourself, okay, John, so were you abusing the hell out of your car? I mean, it's winter. You took it out for uh, to ride in the snow. What snow? So, I had to go into this one here because I was curious what the hell happened. And I couldn't help but notice through Google what we're looking at here because there's your input right there on the pinion and this is your rear passenger side axle. This here is the AMC 35 differential and axle. This here is very similar to the Dana Model 35. It's almost as if Dana actually bought all the tooling off of AMC to make a similar version of this axle, not entirely the same. But it's a symmetrical axle. The axle shaft from here to here is the same length from here to here. You can actually switch them over. So when these axles were manufactured and assembled, it didn't matter which side or it didn't matter which um, shaft you used, you grabbed the same shaft for either side. And a lot of people were saying the rear passenger axle would snap. And it would always snap exactly like this. And this has been happening for years. So how this one lasted almost 40 years before snapping, I had to look into this here. And I was asking around, was there a bulletin for this? No, there's no bulletins at all. There's no issue. It just seems they were snapping. But what someone had noticed is that this axle nut is our problem. So when these were being manufactured, it would be two to an axle, two people to an axle. So someone would slap on this hub here. They'd torque the nut and put in the cotter pin. You'd have another person on the other side who would do the same thing. Slap on the hub, torque in the nut, and put in the cotter pin. The nut on that side gives out at around 250 foot-pounds. That's fine. That's an axle nut. This one gave out at a little over 500. This has been torqued twice what it needs to be. The assumption is someone had their torque wrench set to metric, not imperial units. And as a result, the threads on here are stressed super, 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 super hard, and it fatigues the metal. Um, and once that happens, I can guarantee you this here has already been dismantled and rebuilt once before. I've had the whole axle rebuilt. And what happened is even after you've loosened off that nut and retorqued it, the shaft end is condemned. It's already fatigued and broken. This one here lasts another two years before it snapped. Okay, so that's a factory defect. Why was Chrysler not telling people about this? I mean, we now have factory recalls for things that happened in, like, Ford Explorers 25 years ago. And we were having these uh, fail as early as the late 1980s. There is no bulletin. I can't find a bulletin. I've had people look through their microfiche. There's no bulletins from AMC 
There's no bulletins from Chrysler. There's nothing. Like, this started happening, people were reporting it to Chrysler, and Chrysler said, not our problem. I'm assuming there's laws now that say you can't do that anymore. But, now that they're snapping, it's causing people a lot of grief, because, remember how I said this is... It's, it, it's a Dana, Dana 35, it's an AMC 35, it's not exactly the same. Dana 35s are very common for the Jeep people, even the Ford people. Um, the shaft replacement is pretty straightforward. Knock off the back of the differential, um, you loosen a, a set screw, you remove out a C-pin, and the whole shaft just slides out. This is different. Again, AMC. And if we look here, we're missing the C-clip that retains it in. It's just splines. These shafts are retained way up here by the bearing. So it's a completely different type of axle shaft. So, no one's manufacturing these anymore. It really is an oddball part, so the recommendation is you can swap in um, a Dana 35, and for the most part, it's, it's minimal modifications. You will have to change your gear ratios. But I wanted to keep it stock because, sure, why the hell not? And I technically now have a spare axle shaft anyways. But that's the reason why I have a complete spare axle. This one came out of a 1987 Eagle. And that's another thing we can't really confirm. We don't know when someone finally looked at their torque wrench and said, Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong setting. This is a 1982. This is a 1987. I've seen a 1986 that had this, uh, the axle snap. And I'm actually talking to someone right now who in the last 24 hours had their axle snap as well. And they're in 81. So there's no friggin' way they went almost the entire life of this vehicle and no one checked their tool. But at the same time, it's so odd. There's nothing else here that could break. Or nothing else here that says this side's getting exerted more force. I mean, it's a differential. Like, if anything forces this one more, it'll just kind of transfer over to there. Blah, 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 blah. It's odd. Anyways, that was a week's repair, and now I have this fancy lump of metal here, which is completely worthless. Such is life of owning an older vehicle.